So these are some iPhone 10s, and the iPhone 10 actually comes in two different colors now. We have silver and we have space gray. Now there's actually quite a few differences between these two colors, apart from you know the obvious one, which is the back panel, which has a different color. So the frame is actually made out of a different material, so it has a different coating uh, on the space gray iPhone 10. So it might be a bit more durable than the silver one, by the way. But here's everything you need to know about all the differences between the space gray iPhone 10 and the silver iPhone 10. So silver versus space gray, which one should you get? Here's all the differences. So grab some, grab some iPhones, I don't know, and enjoy. Okay, so the first differences are actually when you take a look at the box itself. So we get different wallpapers on the front of the box. So the space gray iPhone 10's box has this red and blue wallpaper, essentially the same one that you see on Apple's website the most, whereas the silver iPhone 10 has this green, orange and blue wallpaper. Uh, but you know, you can obviously change those wallpapers in the settings for each of these. But this is just the one that you get on the front of the box. Now another difference is the frame on the box. So with the space gray iPhone 10 box, uh, you can see a black or a gray frame, whereas with the iPhone, with the silver iPhone 10 box, you can definitely see the silver stainless steel frame towards the bottom of the image. Now probably the easiest way to tell which one is which uh, is just by looking at the iPhone branding and the Apple logo. Uh, so both of these are actually black on the space gray iPhone 10 and the silver are light gray on the silver model. But apart from these differences, the boxes are essentially identical, even if you take a look at the capacity and the description on the back, uh, so the font, the color, everything on that is the same on both. Now, in terms of what's inside the box, we get exactly the same accessories in the exact same colors, by the way. So designed by Apple in California, this is the booklet. This is the first thing that we get inside the box, which actually contains some white Apple stickers with both models, the warranty and the safety guide, and then the SIM eject tool, and the user manual, which by the way, definitely give it a read this time because it goes through all the changes, all the new gestures that you have to learn on the iPhone 10. And there's a lot of them, especially since the home button is now gone. Now, apart from this, we get the actual iPhones in space gray and in silver. So let's remove the plastic wrap on both and we get exactly the same divine music on both. And in terms of the accessories, we get a pair of AirPods, not AirPods, so EarPods. These are essentially wired headphones, among with a 3.5mm to lightning adapter so that you can use your own headphones. We then get uh, the charger, which is still, by the way, a slow charging one, so not a quick charging charger. And finally, a USB-A, not USB-C, to, to a lightning cable for charging and syncing. So mostly charging because no one really syncs their iPhones to iTunes anymore. Now, taking a look at the actual differences between those two colors. So on the front, we get a black front on both models, interesting. So we actually get this because we have an OLED display and a black bezel perfectly blends in with the display itself, whereas with the white iPhone 10, it would have looked something like this. So yeah, let me know in the comments which one would you actually prefer, a white front or a black front uh, for the silver iPhone 10 model. But even when you're holding them in your hand from the front, you can still see the stainless steel frame, which actually looks perfectly black on the space gray model and stands out quite a bit more on the silver one. So the main difference between the two is actually on the back. So with the space gray iPhone 10, we get this dark gray back. It's not actually black, by the way. It, it's, its color actually changes slightly depending on the light, but essentially it's a very, very dark gray. So it's not black, it's a dark gray. Now the silver iPhone 10 has uh, this light gray back, so yes, it's not white, it's not even silver, it's actually a light cloudy gray, so to say. So again, depending on how the light is reflected, it might look white at some angles, but if you compare this to something like, I don't know, a previous generation iPhone or a white iPad, which actually came with a white front, or even uh, the iPhone 10's white box, you can probably tell how much darker the back of the silver iPhone 10 really is. And now the attention to detail on these is just incredible. So first off, the camera module itself, this one actually has this shiny frame which matches the color of the phone. So both made out of stainless steel, by the way. And then if you take a look at the volume buttons and the power button, these actually perfectly match the stainless steel frame. Again, they're made out of the same, exact same stainless steel as the frame itself. And even the same applies to the SIM tray. So not only is it made from the same material as the frame, on each model, but even the inside of the tray is color matched to the color 
of your iPhone. And on top of that, even the button that you actually press with a SIM eject tool, even that's white on the silver iPhone 10 and black on the space gray model. And same applies to the antenna line. So we get black ones on the space gray model and light gray ones on the silver one. And then if you take a look at the speaker grill on the bottom, again, we get silver uh, grills on the silver model and black ones on the black one. And you can even see the individual perforations on this one and yes, even if you take a look at the lightning port, the inside of the lightning port is actually white on the silver model and black on the space gray one. So it actually matches the color of the phone. And yes, even the screws are color matched to the color of your iPhone. So the attention to detail on these is just amazing. Now, taking a look at the actual stainless steel frame, because this is another very big difference between the two. So on the silver iPhone 10 model, uh, this one, the frame is actually made out of 316L polished stainless steel. Now on the space black uh, iPhone 10, we still get polished stainless steel, but this one is actually given a coating to make it look black or dark gray. Now, from what I found, this is not diamond-like carbon coating in the end, like I previously believed. So diamond-like carbon coating, this is something like we have on the space black Apple Watch. So on this one, for example, uh, instead it uses something called PVD coating. So PVD coating is essentially the way this is actually treated. So this is a process that's done by uh, vapor coating that's fairly thin. So essentially you get a really, really thin layer uh, of coating on this. Whereas the one on the Apple Watch, this is more of like a protective paint. So it's more durable than the one on the iPhone 10. Now on my Space Black Apple Watch, I haven't had any major scratches on the frame. And that's actually after more than a year of daily use. So I would say that it's quite durable. Now I'm not sure how well the PVD coating on the Space Black, uh, Space Gray iPhone 10 will last in time. But so far, after about two weeks of daily use, I've had zero scratches on mine. So essentially when it comes to scratches, the silver one, since it has a polished stainless steel frame, just like the stainless steel Apple Watch, this thing will scratch very, very easily. But the good news is that if you scratch it, you can just buy a stainless steel polish and then you can remove the scratches. Now the space gray uh, iPhone 10 is a bit more durable because of that PVD coating. But if you do scuff it or scratch it, by the way, you won't be able to remove those with a stainless steel polish because if you use that, uh, you will actually remove the entire coating and in the end you will see this thing on the bottom. So you will actually use the stainless steel frame same one as you get with the silver model so more durable less durable you can remove the scuffs uh, and the scratches again more durable but you can't remove those also when it comes to smudges these are way more visible on the space gray iphone 10 so you can obviously wipe them off uh, and then the space gray frame would look amazing when it's clean but that's also another thing that you have to keep in mind now speaking of smudges same applies to the back so smudges and fingerprints are much much more visible on the space gray model than on the silver one so if you hate uh, if you hate cleaning your iphone way too often then definitely get a silver one and finally in terms of how these look in cases the front would look essentially the same because it's you know black on both the only difference would be on the bottom where you can see the stainless steel frame and the camera lens which has the stainless steel ring to it uh, on the back. So it would be shinier with a silver model and you know a bit a bit darker, quite a bit darker on the space gray model. Now usually the space gray iPhone will look better if you have lighter colored cases such as this white silicone one right here uh, whereas the silver iPhone 10 would actually look much better in darker cases like the blue one uh, where the silver frame actually makes it stand out quite a lot. Now, one more difference that I wanna point out is that we actually get the same boot screen on both, which is quite interesting because usually Apple uses a white background with a black app logo on the white version of their iPhones and iPads. However, uh, with you know with the white iPhone 10, since we get a black display, a black front, this is probably why we get exactly the same boot logo and boot screen on both. However, when you get a software update, you would actually get a white background as opposed to a black one on the space gray iPhone 10. So I don't know, maybe they haven't updated uh, the boot screen when it comes to updates, or maybe they just wanted to have updates with the white background there. So yeah, so small thing that I wanted to mention. Okay, so in the end, I think I've covered every single difference between these two, from the biggest ones to the smallest ones. So which one is a better choice? Which one should you get? Well, that would depend on your own personal preference, obviously. Uh, for me, that would actually be the black one or the space gray iPhone 10. So the silver one actually reminds me a lot of those old iPods. If you remember, you know, the actual iPods, not the iPod Touch. So with that silver stainless steel frame, uh, whereas the space gray iPhone 10 looks more premium, in my opinion. Seeing how the front merges perfectly with the dark stainless steel frame, which then blends in perfectly with the dark gray glass on the back. But which one would you pick 
and why. Let me know in the comments. And by the way, in case you're wondering, the availability uh, is about the same on both models at the moment. So yeah, if you're subscribed, if you want to see more in-depth tech videos and also enable notifications so that you're notified whenever I upload a brand new epic video. But yeah, other than that, for free video like if you have enjoyed it, to let me know. And this has been pretty much it. So thank you for watching. I'm Daniel. I'll see you guys in my next one. So no tech, signing out. Cheers.